I'm lucky enough to travel often for my job, not only to wine regions, but also to cities with a great wine culture. But like so many people, I only have time for a few days in each destination, which makes it even more important for me to know where to go and what to see. I'm Susan Castrava, Executive Editor for Wine Enthusiast Magazine, and this is 48 Hours in Miami. First things first, do like the locals do and grab a traditional Cuban coffee or cafe con leche and a pastry. Miami is full of fun and funky destinations, but none as surprising as El Carajo, which is a gas station, wine bar, and restaurant in one. Carlos, you have to tell me how this concept came to be. Well, this concept didn't happen overnight, so we owned the gas station in 81, added in the wine in 89, and then the restaurant didn't come in until about 2005. And tell me about your wine collection. So it's a bunch of people's favorite major brands, in addition to a nice you know, group of eclectic wines and some of the things I'm really trying to bring back, like Bordeaux. I was going to say you're a big Bordeaux fan. I think we're a great reflection of Miami because we're in, not only are we an immigrant family, but we have a great passion for food and beverage. So we take everything that we see around town and we try and get the best elements of the fun, of the quality of wines, and really trying to exemplify it as much as possible. How do people react when they walk through the door? You should see the look on people's faces, especially when they're here on a first date. <laughs> I've had an amazing time at El Carajo. Super impressed with the wine list, the wine program, and everything that Carlos has done here. The food is incredible, and it just goes to show you, you can find amazing wine in the most unlikely places, even a gas station. Don't miss the iconic Ocean Drive in South Beach. Check out the beautiful Versace Mansion and stop in next door for alfresco sangrias. For beach vibes, hit up the Miami Beach Boardwalk for great people watching and some exercise. Stop in for a bite and some midday cocktails at one of the beautiful oceanfront hotels like the Eden Rock. Wine and food lovers can't experience Miami without visiting Alter an edgy eatery that specializes in modern cuisine. Alter is in the buzzy neighborhood of Wynwood and focuses on locally sourced ingredients from Florida with an emphasis on seasonal flavors. What are some of the ingredients you would say locally that you really love working with? Well, uh, actually right now I'm growing with uh, the local farmer, sunflower buds. Okay. So it's the top of the sunflower plant mm -hmm. and when they're young they eat like an artichoke. Great. To have a relationship with a farmer and them to grow things specifically for you, at the same time, you're supporting small businesses. And, and right now, focusing on building the culture of the Miami food scene, it comes full circle. And now you can definitely tell for wine lovers and food lovers that the city is emerging as one of the top in the country. There's true professionals and passionate sommeliers and chefs and restaurateurs, and it's really something great to be a part of. I love everything about this restaurant. I love the location, and I really love the passion of the chef. I've just had a delicious dinner, and I'm ready for a drink. One of the most eclectic bars in the city is the Broken Shaker. There's a laid-back vibe here, but the playful cocktails are world-class. So talk to me about the philosophy, your cocktail philosophy at Broken Shaker. It's a, it's a pretty much a perfect 50-50 mix. I think drinks that really connect with people or drinks that are just really good. We try and use ingredients that are like the flower there from our garden or local to Florida and seasonal. And do you do a lot of cocktails with wine made in them? Almost, I mean, I would always say more than half our menu or so has a wine-based cocktail, whether it be fortified wine or still wine, sparkling wine. Broken Shaker is just a place where people from any walk of life looking for any kind of experience can come, enjoy themselves, feel at home, that connects with people on a personal level. There's obviously an exciting wine and food scene in Miami, but I also love the diverse cultural vibe and the people couldn't be friendlier. 
I really hope my travels bring you back here soon. <laughs>